Well, cats are lucky because they got their own frequency generator machines right within their bodies. You know, a cat's purr is designed to uh, not only for contentment, but it's also to help alleviate pain, pain management, and also to help heal. You know, vet all veterinarians will pretty much tell you a cat will heal much faster than a dog if it ever had a serious accident and broke some bones. And that is because of the purring and the frequency. This is one of the things behind the zapper. It's not just the positive offset, it's also the frequency. Well, in an effort to uh, increase in further product and research, uh, I'm going to send Power Zapper some of this stuff here I picked up. I'm going to try this out right now. It's really tough stuff. Um, it's 464 naval brass. It's 59% copper, 40% zinc, 1% tin. Now, this thing has been under my carport for, I don't know, a month. And it got damp. So, if this was normal brass, this would already have been tarnished. You can see it's really shiny still. Um, this is the side that doesn't have the plastic on it. See right there, it's still real shiny. Um, power zappers are working really great. And you can just, if you ever get a power zapper, you just, you want to get even the cheap models, the power zapper six pack or the CC2, try them out, fine. What I'm trying out with this is, why I'm trying this out is because the power zapper itself can run like the Energizer Bunny forever. Um, you can use rechargeable batteries in it and um, just, you, know, you put them back in here. You go, that's the battery compartment, and uh, you will, uh, get this under one hand, yeah. So, it'll, it'll just use rechargeable batteries, and it'll keep going. And so you got to use good quality rechargeable batteries, uh, not the cheap ones, because this unit takes a little bit of power, but it'll last, I don't know, 12 hours or so of zapping. But I want to run it continuously. So, the other problem I had, the one problem I really had was that, it's not really a problem, but it's kind of a nuisance. Every once in a while, you have to clean these copper paddles. These are actually pure copper. So I went and I was looking at brass, but a lot of brass has other things in it that are undesirable, but not naval brass. Now sometimes the naval brass is, has a real minute trace element of lead, but sometimes it says 100% lead free. This should be 100% lead free. The only thing I did was I probably got this too thick. This is, um, Jesus, I think it's... Yeah, 64 thousandths of an inch thick. So that's that's pretty thick stuff. It's 16th of an inch. I should have got something half as thick. Um, but either even so, that's not bad because once you bend it to conform to your body, it's going to stay put. And also, if you when you make the little tab for the electronic electric connector, that tab is not going to break. So now, since I appreciate what Power Zapper's product so much. I'm actually going to send them some, besides this, for some research, I'm going to send them some of these things. I got here um, a Bushmaster multi-tool, and uh, this is a Bushmaster knife um, with the it's OS8 stainless steel. This is the one that's the full tang, but I also put the uh, uh, JB Weld in here after I chemically cleaned it so the, the handle can't come loose, and um, modified the scabbard so it drains. It also has a little bit of a... Uh, this is this has been tied down so this if you put it on your belt loop this can't possibly come loose and also an army of uh, Tennessee Confederate flag I'm going to send them that too so I'll be sending this out tomorrow to them so you could experiment with this I think if you actually included this in with the product at some point in the future that it would probably be half the thickness of this because this stuff is pretty damn thick I didn't realize how thick it was but it is incredibly tough stuff to cut I was trying to cut it with the jigsaw and normally, I, this stuff seemed like it was tougher to cut than steel. I was like, whoa. I don't know. I, I, somehow with the combination of the elements, it seems like it's stronger than steel or mild iron, whatever those uh, sheet metals would be made out of. I had to cut it with the cutoff wheel, so I didn't quite get it straight. <laughs> but I went over the edge a little bit with the cutoff wheel. It's still a little sharp, but not that bad. So, get just packed up and sent out tomorrow, but... Uh, I personally think that with extensive use of the power zapper, actually the six pack of the CC2 will work fine just for that. Um, and it, when you're using it a long time, like a real lot of hours, it's probably best to use a 30,000 or the 10,000 hertz. The six pack has a 10,000 hertz in it too. It's mode six. Because you don't really feel it. Because even the modes that are like in a 2500 hertz range, if you're using it like eight hours a day or more every day you will get some skin irritation 
it's okay to use it for a couple hours, no problem. But um, if you're using a 10,000 hertz or 30,000 hertz or 5,000 hertz and above, maybe 3,000 hertz and above, um, you don't feel nothing. So, you know, that's another good reason to probably, you know, I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard to tell exactly what it does 100%, but I do know it does give you more energy. I did test the body's electrical output, the overall body energy with the uh, Thunderbolt body tester that's made by Thunderbolt and it was excellent actually uh, after using a power zapper like 15 hours a day the power zapper actually will bring up your body voltage too besides the Thunderbolt um, but it's easier to use the power zapper because of it's easier to use the power zapper than the Spooky because it's battery operated you can wear this wear this most of the time um, you can put it on a belt make a couple paddles and put a paddle on each side of the belt Make a little holder for that and you're all set. I personally think that extensive use of the power zapper, like using it like 15, 20 hours a day, is, is about as good as um, taking intravenous vitamin C. I think it's an actual electron donor. So I, I think it has the ability to help extend life. The reason I'm saying this is because it's partly from Holder Clark's words, but it's also partly from that um, voltage test I did for the body energy. Holder Clark said that the positive offset of the zapper will kill all microbes as long as there's a square wave and it never goes to zero. Now, Para Zapper makes sure the wave never goes to zero even under the load because he uses a pedestal offset. So it does, it's like a quarter volt positive or something like that or half volt positive or I forgot exactly what it is, but it doesn't even go anywhere near zero. And then it has a very good clean square wave even under the load. So it meets all the criteria, and as long as the wave was, as long as the frequency was between 15,000, I think she said, I don't know, 200,000 hertz or something like, or some ungodly number, really high. So you know, the frequency can help if you know the exact frequency that can make it work faster. But even if you don't know the frequency, the positive offset will get you results eventually. Now the other side where Holder Clark said the uh, uh, zapper was improving was your energy it was energizing your body's immune system cells as they're you know floating immune system cells that are in your in blood right and what I'm seeing is I know that and I can see what she's saying with the logic though um, the body's normal cells the body's cells are charged one way they're slightly alkaline which also means they have a slight negative charge a healthy normal human cell has a half a volt negative charge. It's a battery unto itself. And it actually has a frequency too. It's like a little uh, frequency battery or something. It runs off it runs off of voltage and um, chemical reactions and it has a frequency. So as the cell gets weaker, the voltage goes closer to zero. The frequency lowers until it finally dies. That's really what happens with cancer and things. Now I guess with the zapper you can get it directly on a cancer cell, I guess it would do a great deal of good, but that's one of the problems is reaching the areas of the body where things are a problem. But still, be that it may, you can still get all the blood supply. And the blood supply goes virtually everywhere. So if you're constantly zapping your entire blood supply uh, with a positive offset, that is helping to add a you know, charge to the body's the blood supply, the body's cells. Which you know is Holder Clark's claim, but it's um, it makes sense because the ball deposited vote offset voltage is actually going only one way. But the immune the um, the bad cells, the microbes, are charged the opposite way. They're slightly alkaline. So what's happening is that the pyro zapper is actually causing those cells to get, take their normal voltage and it brings them down is down and closer and closer to zero till they die which is the bad stuff, the microbes, they're oppositely charged as, as the body's normal immune cells. This is why this technology works. But it doesn't work in five minutes. And you see, that, I didn't realize, like, you know, you don't really notice anything that fast. It's when you use this a lot every day, for days in and days out, you'll see you're saying, wow, I feel pretty freaking strong. That's what's weird about it. It's not like it's, that's why a lot of people won't do it. 
because it takes more time. But I'm figuring I'm gonna I'm setting up a, like a belt, an elastic belt, which is a, not you know maybe a something about this big, a little paddle like this big. So this thing you could probably make two, four, six, eight, probably sixteen paddles out of this damn thing, you know. And but they're a little bit, they're, it's a little bit thick, you know, but still it'll work. But the beauty of this 464 naval brass is that it contains zinc, which is body friendly. So if you get any microscopic zinc in your blood supply from zapping, that's good. That's good. That's not a problem. Tin, tin is inert. It's not toxic. It's not bad. It's not good. You notice there's always tin lined cans. Tin's not a problem. Coppers, coppers fine. But the zinc. But they recently put the tin in the naval brass so that the zinc doesn't get depleted as fast. So I don't think there's going to be much zinc coming out of this. You know, so it basically it's just the real re, the real beauty of this of this material for a zapper paddle is that it's going to um, not tarnish. It looks like this stuff doesn't tarnish easy. And it, maybe it will tarnish eventually, but it might take 10, 20 times as much length of time before it tarnishes. So you're not going to be cleaning this very often, if ever. Uh, and that's, you know, so you've got your recharge, you've got good quality rechargeable batteries, you've got a reliable six pack or CC2 or other unit. And uh, you can use a cheap unit still. It doesn't matter, I mean, that much. Um, if you really, <coughs> the more expensive unit is great if you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> and it, it, is, it is great in every other respect, too. But uh, if you just want to try and not invest a lot of money initially, the cheaper units, you know, you know what I mean. So just don't take my word for it. Just, you don't want to invest, a, you know, then if you figure it out, it works great. Get the more expensive unit. But, um, my theory is not just to zap when you feel a cold coming on or some problem. It's like to zap continuously every day. And I, I personally think this might extend life a lot. Because one of the limits we had um, why humans don't live as long as they used to back in the biblical times is that one of the um, genes that helps, that makes the body produce their own vitamin C or glutathione um, is dormant and it went dormant it looks like it went dormant sometime after the flood with Noah. Noah lived I think to 920 years. He thinks it's BS. I don't think it is BS. But somehow the gene the gene is there. It's just dormant. If uh, we would actually live and this is scientific though as far as like, just leave the Bible part out for a second if you don't believe that but um, it's scientific that if you take out the uh, capability of producing vitamin C in like say a mouse they only live about 40 percent of the lifespan they normally do so they theorize the humans who live two and a half times longer so when you're a hundred years old you might feel and be exactly like you're 42 how's that so you know I'm thinking that I don't know if this is going to do all that but I think it could add a couple decades of vibrant life to the person and it's not costing hardly anything, basically nothing. So, I'm, you know, I'm very appreciative of this product. I didn't know nothing about it, you know, before. Um, it's like I wasn't that convinced on it, but I got more convinced that I've been using it over the years. I used it on an effective tooth one time. Even if I have like a cold coming on, I'll take one of these paddles, I'll put it under my chin or something, and where the throat is, and uh, it seems to knock it out right away. If I have a cut or something, it's getting infected. I seem to put the cap paddle on it with the positive offset over the cut where the infection is. Seems to knock it out. And um, I don't know. The FDA could say it don't work, but just think you can do whatever. The FDA could do whatever they want to do. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And um, I wasn't convinced. Now I'm like really convinced. The more I'm using it, the more convinced I am. And it's not like I want to believe it because actually I was thinking. I was thinking that uh, some of the herbal supplements were more powerful than this, but I'm really suspecting that this oh, this is, and it's like you don't have to buy anything over once you buy it. This is probably the most powerful thing you could do for like antioxidants. So I'm sending them this multi-tool as a gift of appreciation, this knife and an Army of Tennessee flag and these things here, these, you know, of course I'll keep them my zapper, <laughs> and these uh, naval brass things here. So. You can experiment with them and see how they work out, but I would suggest uh, that Mr. Power Zapper even try this himself and try zapping 15-20 hours a day 
with a couple of these naval brass plates set up in a waistband and uh, told me, you know, he's not going to be able to tell you, because if you sell stuff, you can't say nothing, you know. Like, I don't sell nothing, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm talking about it, but, and I will not, I will not um, tell somebody, steer somebody wrong. Like, I mean, okay, I do not know, I do not have a study out there with 300 people, that's just me, that's one of the big limits. Um, I like the Spooky 2 device, but except you got to be near the computer. I think the Spooky 2 plasma anti-cancer settings are awesome. The Spooky 2 remote, I don't want to say this too much, but I don't think it's that strong at all. I don't know, maybe it is, but I don't, doesn't, I don't know, it's like very, it's like, it, it, I'm not saying it doesn't do anything, but it's not that strong. The contact method is much stronger. But when you have a contact method like this that's portable, and you can use it, 12, 15, 20 hours a day. That is extremely powerful. See, that's the whole thing, portability. Plus, it's giving you a quality pedestal offset, pure square wave, even under load. And it's got constant uh, voltage technology, too. That's why, you know, it's, it's just as good as a bigger frequency machine that you would set with positive offset but it's compact. It's like the size of a pack of cigarettes. Not hard to carry around, man. Not, not a big deal at all. You can always make a little... I mean, a lot of times they stick that in my shirt pocket. And I'll stick those two things under my arms. I'll walk around with that damn thing like that. So it's, you know, it's like the paddles are doing their thing. So I'll be sending this stuff out. And uh, he can. Ex I'm going to be making some paddles with this here probably today. And uh, we'll see what Mr. Paris Zapper makes out of this thing, too. I don't know. I, these are a little bit thick, though, because I'm like, holy smokes, man. This stuff is some... These are... I, I should have got a half the thickness. I was thinking I was going to get it too thin. I said, whoa, I overcompensated. <laughs> well, that's redneck paddles, man. They're like... God, you're like... <laughs> well, you know, once you bend them, and you put a nice curve in here so this thing doesn't jab you, and once you, you know, you put a nice curve in it with the grinder, and then you make a paddle about that big, it'll work fine. It works fine. And I don't think you'll ever have to clean these damn things. That's another thing. It's great. So it'll stay tarnish free. And if anything comes out of the metal itself, it's only zinc and copper and tin, all that stuff. Tin is inert, zinc is body friendly, copper is pretty body friendly. Nothing's bad in there. You know, it's not like stainless steel. So um, I think it's a winner all the way. And by the way, I got several of these knives like this. I mean, I bought a bunch of them. I'm going to give him one of them. This thing actually saws like crazy. It also eats stainless steel, too. The only dis defect I ever saw in this knife was that I don't like how the handle can possibly come loose. So these are all JB welded. Really good. And a uh, little modification on the sheath. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Army Tennessee flag. Anyway, over now.